What is going on guys? Here we are, uh, playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. It's finally here, and everyone is playing it. Everyone is playing it. Everyone is playing it. Uh, let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package. There's so much to look forward to, but first, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Inc. And I'm Tommy. You Tom Nook, uh, enslaved his children. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul. So let's get started, shall we? Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? It's gonna be a while until we get the the birthday day for Animal Crossing. Oh, don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. You are. Those eyes have no souls behind them. Great, you're all set. All set. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting! Exciting. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way that you're used to them. What I mean is, we have islands in both the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. Current home. So tell me, Maduro, where do you live now? Live now. Uh... Yes. We'd recommend that you relocate to an island in the nor Northern Hemisphere. Boy, I'm going to Hawaii! There are a few more decisions to make, but does that sound okay to you so far? So far. I'm okay. Very good, we have a number of lovely uninhabited islands in the Northern Hemisphere to choose from. Now then, all our islands are approximately the same size and they're all quite natural. So don't worry whether you'll have enough space or comfort, you can't go wrong. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I'd do it. I'll show you some maps now, and you can choose the best one for your new home. New home? Ah. <sighs> Uh, looking at Adam, uh, I think I want to have an island within an island. Yeah, let's go with that one. Wonderful choice, choice. I can't wait to show it off to you. Ah, uh, but before we depart, I have one final question for you. Why do you look so upset about it? If you could only bring one thing to a deserted island, what would it be? Well, uh, I thought that said something to kill me for a second, and I'm like, what What kind of game is this? <laughs> Lamp is going to be the least important. Food would be the most important. Then probably sleeping bag and then something to kill time. But knowing I'm probably not going to starve in this game, and they're going to give me a tent regardless, I'm gonna say something to kill time. Give me my Nintendo Switch on a deserted island. How interesting. Oh! I'm sorry, that was just a hypothetical question. I don't think it was a hypothetical question. Nook Inc. will fully cover, cover all your basic needs. Yes, yes. Your attention, please. This is a service announcement. The chartered flight for Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Ah, perfect timing. Come on, let's all board the plane together. Together. Hello, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of the Nook Inc. deserted island getaway package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about your deserted island life.
there's that music. Oh, there's a chessboard. That bug's freaking out. Aw, this is all so sweet. Pretty sure I've seen this commercial like 200 times at work though. Look in the background! Ah! Ah! No! There he is! Oh! No! Oh, he's dead. Is that a big funny gorilla to greet me? Now I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session by the in the nearby plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. We just talk so highly of your dad. We're headed there right now if you'd like to move L to follow us. Oh, look at him run off. Oh, oh, I can move now. Hello. Oh, you are a big, big funny monkey. Now, come on, we gotta follow those gu- the guides. And, uh, little mouse. Talk later, jog now. Let's go. I'm not gonna remember any of the voices for the people. Can I already harvest fruit? I can. Wait, how do I pick it up? I have no idea what any of these buttons do. Do I have like a... You can't save right now. No one can save you. Hello. Alright, is that everyone? Let's see. <coughs> is Rocky here? That's the funny monkey to my left. And how about Samson? That's the confusingly deep-voiced mouse to my right. And I'm here. Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. See, I thought I was going to be on this island alone. Why do I get funny monkey and little mouse? Yes, yes, very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook Incorporated. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island, so congratulations. And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, Nook Inc. staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But, first things first. Yes, yes. I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate and... Ah, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please collect your tent from Timmy and Tommy and then choose a spot to place it. Alright. Hey, Timmy. Here you go, Maduro. Your very own tent. This is a thermos. Once you find the perfect spot, press ac to access your inventory, then select your tent to place it. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you'll want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a space that works for you. Oh, I oh. suppose I should probably set you up with a map, too. Thank you. Once you put up your tent, please find your way back here. Use your new map if you need it. Well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. Can I get those fruit? I still can't pick up fruit. I'm pressing every button I can. I can't pick up the fruit. So I guess I'll have to wait to pick up the fruit. 
All right, so uh, here we are in Animal Crossing. The game looks wonderful. Uh, I can't cross the water to get to the little secluded island I want. That's great. Uh, yep, there's no way around it looks. Okay, there we go. So, I'm not really sure where. Um, hmm. This is a hard decision, I don't know why. If I could cross the, the river... Then the decision would be a little easier. Uh, I'll cut back once I figure out a place where I want to be. Alright guys, I think this is like the perfect spot to put it for me. Hey, I set up my tent. That's a big first step. I got a cute little mailbox. Alright, let's run back to the nooks. Ah, Maduro. You must have found a suitable spot for your tent, hmm? You're the first one back, so I suppose the others must be still searching for just the right location. I think they drowned in the river nook. I, I think... I didn't see them. Uh, you know, since you've already done some scouting, the others may appreciate your assistance. Yes, yes. Oh, that's unsettling. Hey, Rocket. You're... Wait, I got it. Don't tell me. You're Maduro, right? See? Told you I had it. I'm Rocket. I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing. Vroom! You're not in a car. You already found a good spot. I was trying to just feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. I couldn't just sit here and think it over forever, so I grabbed a stick and threw it, and here's where it landed. So now this is my spot. Okay, I know there's only so far I could throw the stick, but I'm liking this. Yes. Sure. If I put my tent here... Yeah, sure. Awesome, from now on this won't just be anywhere on the island, this is gonna be my home sweet home. I can't believe I got such an awesome spot. You rock! Vroom! I wonder how that Samson's guy is doing. He might have... He might be having as much trouble as I was. Maybe you should go see if he needs help too. Female monkey. There you are. Yo, I'm Samson. You're Maduro, right? Nice to meet you, Pipsqueak. I will punt you into the river. You already set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's gotta have a lot of fresh air. He likes to work out, I gave him the perfect voice. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think, Maduro? He's a jock. Looks good to me. Punting distance from the river. Okay, then. How about we do a little visualization exercise together? If I put my tent here... He's talking about exercise, he's a jock! Pretty cool, right? I want that color of tent. Looks great. Alright, looks like we have a winner. I'm gonna put down sticks right here and never look back, Pipsqueak. That was a tough decision. You totally saved my glutes. Don't tell me you already helped Rocket out, too. You're like... like... A true champion! I just got here, so I don't have anything ready, but I'm gonna reward you once I'm settled in. Well, looks like it's time to sprint back to the plaza, Pipsqueak. Why is he such a jock? He's ripped! Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while, hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing... Like throwing Samson in the river! <laughs> like throwing an island warming party. We'll have it right here in the plaza f with a roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since we'll all be living here, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see... Timmy, Rocket, Tommy, and Samson can set up 
things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, Maduro and I will work on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. Alright everyone, let's get to it. Maduro, would you come see me for a moment? Oh, I gotta see the principal in his office. Ah, Maduro. I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly ten tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So when you find one lying on the ground, just press Y to pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the peach-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real peaches. Did you think they were fake peaches? Did you think they were princess peach? Hmm? That's a funny Nintendo reference if you didn't know. Peach. 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 Tree branch. I want more peaches. More peaches. More peaches! Tell me what you know! More peaches. What did I pick up there? I didn't see. Oh, we're getting all these tree branches and all the peaches. I want to get as many peaches as we can. Too much is never enough. I just hope like a cutscene doesn't trigger once we get 10 tree branches. Okay, there are more peaches up here. We picked up like a leaf or something. Clumps of weeds. Okay, well, uh, it's 320, not 420, so... What is that in the water? I assume a fish. Do we have enough, like... I don't know, I'm just gonna pick up all these weeds. You just gotta keep collecting, you know? Alright, uh... I'm gonna cut here and just like come back once I've collected as much stuff as I can. All right, and uh, we got plenty of stuff. I'm pretty sure I picked up shells, not sand dollars, but okay, whatever. Oh, good, good, Maduro. It looks like you managed to collect up all the tree branches. Hmm? You found even more than I asked. I only need to ten, but I'm sure you'll find a good use for the rest. I'll take what you need off your hands now. How are, how are you holding that? Tom Nokes telepathy. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for a campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. Oh! And speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like peaches, they smell like peaches, and they even taste like peaches. Tom Nook, you shouldn't be eating random fruits off of trees. In fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine peaches. So will you collect six of them for me? Oh, what's this? You've already collected enough peaches for everyone? Haven't you? Well, well, I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those off your hands and get started on preparations. Tom Nook, we cannot subsist on peaches alone. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Yay! Fire! At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the year, but this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen. And perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman, hmm? Oh! Now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. And I have no doubt with hard work and perseverance we'll shape this deserted island into 
I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore. Hmm. But what should we call it? Aha! I sense a great opportunity. At for As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules, hmm? So take a little time, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. Alright, uh... Hmm. Now, this is going to take a lot of thought uh, to uh, name the island. Uh, hmm. Well, I've got an idea in mind. Uh, few of you will get the reference. Alright, there we go. Jabberwock Island. Alright, is everyone ready? Let's try saying all our ideas at the same time. Ready? Go! He is a jock! He called it Isla de Biceps! Now for the voting. I'll say each name in order and you can clap for the one you think is best. Maduro seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. Let's start there. So Maduro suggested... Jabberwock. Wow, that's an overwhelming positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. Hold on. How's the one holding the flag clapping? He's just waving his hand. I suppose if everyone is in agreement, we could just go with Jabberwock. I mean, it was supposed to be Jabberwock Island, but uh, th that's fine with me. Uh, splendid. From now on, this island will be known as Jabberwock. Well, Maduro... Since you've proven yourself by naming Jabberwock, I'd re I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we need to make on the island. Yes, yes, I hereby name you the resident representative Jabberwock. Again, not clapping. Madara, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbors? That was dumb. That was dumb. Hmm, so, we've settled on a name for our island, and we've selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but I've gotten r it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. We can't have toast. I only found, uh, peaches. How's that green? Wouldn't it be pink? Everyone have a beverage in hand? It's fresh juice made from peaches, our new resident representative harvest on this very island. Now... Then, without further ado, a toast to Jabberwock Island and the happiness of its residents. Cheers! Yeah! The mouse had protein, like powder poured into his... Hello. We all just met, but chilling by the fire like this makes it feel like we've been best buds for ages, Vroom. Alright, I'm just gonna go over here to the jock mouse. Where'd you get this tambourine? Sitting around the campfire with cups of peach juice. It almost feels like we're family. You can call me bro. Hell yes! <laughs> I love this guy already. Uh, you're, uh, Timmy, right? Yeah, Timmy's the one that talks. Tommy's the one that holds the flag. We're here to act as your support staff, but we've never lived on an uninhabited island before either. I'm not sure how helpful we'll be in this unfamiliar place, but we'll rely on each other as fellow residents. Jabberwock. Jabberwock. What a great name, it just rolls off the tongue. Thank you for offering such a wonderful idea to the group. Ah, Maduro, having a good time, yes? I know this is all a bit much, so if it, you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. I'm not tired yet. Of course, you work hard and you play hard. Hmm? By all means, carry on. Just stop by and see me for a quick chat before you turn in. I have something to give you. Alright, now it's time to go find Monokuma. Alright, we didn't find the bear, so, uh... Ah, Maduro, having a good time, yes? I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's go take a nap in our tent. Sounds good to me, but first you'll probably want this. 
Oh, it's a leaf. Oh, it's your very own camping cot. You'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, and there's a few packages waiting in your tent as well, hmm? Just a few items that might be useful. To open packages and use things inside, press A. And when you're ready, you can move L to crawl into bed. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes, that's all from me for now. Sweet dreams, Madero. Alright, let's head to our tent. How did that open? Did Tom Nook do that? Alright, uh... Oh, a lamp. And, uh, what is that, music? No, can I move it? Could I like... Because I want it all the way in the corner. There we go. Alright. Well, uh, I think that's where we're going to call it for now. It's been a long episode. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, I'll probably be playing this on a semi-regular basis. Probably be playing it on my own, too. But, uh, yeah. I look forward to playing more. Alright, uh, take care, guys. Uh, see you in the next episode. Bye!